Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Miss Wilderful's Wonderful Frisbee Party. I'm your host. And uh, oh, there's a squirrel. So we we're gonna have a frisbee party. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let all our dogs just run around, have a jolly good time, uh, play with some frisbees. We uh, we've had a few people watching. Well, we've only had two. Two people have sent in their dogs. We have Amanda who has sent in Burner, which he's part Saint Bernard apparently. I think the Saint Bernards are really cute. I like the name Burner. And then we have Frankie. And then we have uh, Austrine and Darla sent in by Shayna at Kismet. So uh, they're really, really cute dogs. I'm excited for this today. I'm thinking we're gonna have a lot of fun. So uh, let's let us bring some of them out. Here is Austrine. She is she's so pretty. We're gonna have to let some of these dogs. Uh, we're gonna have to introduce them to one another. I was thinking the dog park would be the perfect place to introduce one another. And then Burner, he has his uh, he has his special uh, glasses on and his his lovely flowery trousers, flower trouser power. Apparently, I think that's so cute. And then we'll bring out Frankie and Darla. All of our all of our guest dogs are go they're going to get to know one another. And we'll we'll just see how it goes. I mean it looks like a pretty typical dog park introduction, I would say. I really hope my mic isn't too echoey because I'm recording this on my laptop. I don't, I'm not using my good mic because I'm over at our friend's house, but you know, I think it will be great. Well, it looks like they're getting along so far. I, I'm glad they seem to be, uh, they seem to be doing well. So, uh, let's see how they take to Chia. Hopefully they will, uh, they'll be able to have some fun. Looks like they've, they've all got quite a lot of energy, I would say. Oh, Austrian and Frankie, they're, they're sniffing each other. They're, they're very cute. They're like, ah, oh, yes, we're on the congregational grounds, and um, they're they're not at war, and that, that's what matters the most. Whether they're virtual dogs or real dogs, just wh whether you know pets in general, just when they get along, it's just lovely. And then she is saying hi to Frankie. That was just great. So we're gonna bring out she is a little brother Flax, and uh, you might hear a dog barking in the background, but. Hopefully it doesn't uh, doesn't bother anybody too much. And uh, they're having a jolly good social social circle. It's the uh, it's the frisbee pack. They're gonna they're gonna get real serious about their frisbee catching soon. Once once I fly some frisbees around. And then Conifer. I chose Chia, Conifer, and Flax because I thought they're not my entire Summer Olympics crew, but I just thought they would work well with one another. They will, they don't I don't think any one of them dislike one another and none of them are in love, so I thought it would be just right. It looks like Austrian and uh, one of the others does, might not like Conifer. Well, they've said well, they've said hi to one another, and um, I think Austrian's deciding she doesn't like somebody. <laughs> we're going to try to ignore that. We're going to try to make this fun. So we're going to give them hot cocoa because uh, oh, who doesn't like hot cocoa? You know, give them some hot cocoa, warm them up, warm up their uh, <laughs> warm up their bellies before they warm up their muscles when they catch the frisbees. 
And uh, Flax doesn't seem intimidated. I mean, he's a little dog, but he's not being intimidated by any of the larger dogs. Yeah, Conifer is drinking some uh, some hot cocoa. Well, it looks like Austrian and Flax are having a good uh, good wrestle. Um, Oh, someone is growling. It is, um, it's Darla. Darla's growling. Don't do that. Okay, okay. They're getting, they're, they're forming their, um, <laughs> they're forming their hierarchies or their friendships or whatever. And they're going to have to start to play Frisbee because if they don't, yeah, see, they're, get, they're getting a little uh, high energy here. And, um, we don't, we just, just, let's, <laughs> let's get it going. We gotta get to distract them with the frisbees because we don't want them to not get along. We gotta have them focus on the frisbees. Oh, Burner's just running around with a stick. Just kind of just running around with a stick in his mouth. Seven. We have seven dogs on the floor, and um. I mean, they're having it. They're having a jolly good time. I would say. Yeah, it looks like Frankie and Darla are having. They're playing. They're having a good time. Someone is getting bullied. Why is Flax, Flax is bullying, why is it, it's always the little dog who likes to bully the other dogs, it's just, it's just how it is, like, in pets, it's just, I've always had, I've always had a little dog who just likes to just be mean to the other dogs, I guess because he's small, because they're small, they just, I don't know, they, they have a chip on their shoulder, let's see, who wants to jump through the hoop? Oh, Flax wants to jump through, Austria jump through, Chia, yes. They're good, they're good sports doggies. Oh no, Darla doesn't like Chia, Chia just tripped Darla. Oh no. Cheerio, now we've got, we've got some drama going on. I think she is intimidated by Darla. She knows she possesses a similar style and, uh, She's not liking it. Well, see, there's been so much chaos. I don't even I don't even know if somebody has caught a frisbee yet. So I'm just gonna have to just fly a frisbee to see so who manages to catch the frisbee. Oh, of course, Flax is trying to catch it. Oh, Darla tried. Darla attempted to catch the frisbee. I think they're ready. I think they're gonna launch their, uh... Oh yes, Austrian caught a frisbee. Maybe she could catch another one. I think Flax is, uh... He doesn't like all the frisbee catching competition. Ooh, Burner managed to catch a frisbee, yes. Oh no, I think I'm just gonna put Flax away. He's being naughty. We're gonna have to give him a timeout. He's uh, he's he's not used to having all this um, competition. All these other dogs catching frisbees. Oh yes, Frankie caught a frisbee. Wow. What what a jolly good lad. Frankie managed to catch a frisbee and. Uh, they're having a little conflict, but I mean, oh, there, yes, Conifer caught a frisbee. Conifer's not even that, he's not even that good at catching frisbees, so I'm impressed. Like, a lot of times he'll try and try, he doesn't manage to catch them, he's managed to caught one. I think they're all, I think they're feeling, feeling the competitive spirit. I think if, if either, if any one of these dogs are by themselves, they might, they might not feel so pressured to catch a frisbee, but I think that, I think they're showing out. I think they know I'm recording them. They know that they have every other dog to impress and they want to be the one who catches the most. 
Oh, burner miss this time. Oh yes, Austrian got it. Conifer just tried to catch it and then Austrian caught it. That was that was remarkable. Austrian's really feeling the uh she's really feeling the athletic spirit. Oh the oh she caught she caught it again. She caught another frisbee. This really heating up. This uh, this athletic contest is really is really heating up. Let's see, who can catch the next frisbee? Oh, Chia just tried to catch it, but she didn't. She she didn't manage to catch it. Chia is too preoccupied with her rivalry with Darla. To she she's not she doesn't have her priorities in order. She's not trying to catch the frisbee. <laughs> Gotta get your paws in the game, Chia. Ooh, Darla caught a frisbee. Oh, Chia's not she's not going to like that. Another reason to be jealous of Darla. No, I think this is going well. I mean there's a little conflict, but there's nothing too severe. I think it's uh I think they're passionate. I think they're passionate about what they do, and they have this uh, competitive, competitive drive. I would say it's not the best sportsmanship or sports dog shit because they're feeling competitive with one another. But you know, I think that I think that they're really uh, passionate. They're feeling it. They're feeling the spirit of the Summer Olympics, and that's what matters. Austrian caught another frisbee. That's at least that's the third or fourth frisbee she's caught. We're gonna put, we're gonna let them uh, frolic a little more now. She might just be the frisbee catching queen. Oh, and Frankie caught a frisbee. I'm gonna have to tally up all the frisbees that were caught at the end of the video. I'm gonna um I'm gonna make sure that uh, we're gonna see who caught the most frisbees. I mean, this is a contest at the same time. It's not too orderly. I'm not, you know, this isn't for a certain, any specific length of time, but I thought it would be fun. And I just thought, you know, it'd be fun to see who could catch the most Frisbees. Uh, Conifer and Darla, they like, they like each other. However, Conifer and Chia are best friends. So, I mean, I don't know how Chia is going to take that. And, uh... Chia, she's, uh, she's, she's jealous. She's, um, she's jealous of Austrian because Austrian has caught a lot of frisbees. And, uh, I mean, she is a good girl, but she just, she gets emotional. She gets spirited sometimes, I would say. She's a spirited, she's a spirited dog and she could manage, she could manage her anger a bit better. And Austrian caught another frisbee. She's a jolly good lass. She's doing really well. I mean, she's as beautiful as she is talented. Did you see that? Oh, did you see? Look what Conifer just, he just tried to snatch the frisbee out of Austrian's mouth. <laughs> he tried to jump and catch it. I've never seen such a thing. That was really funny. And Austrian caught another frisbee. I think Conifer's he's he's uh he's inspired by Austrian. I think he admires her and he um making him want to be a better catcher. Maybe that's what the professional term should be, a catcher. <laughs> Not just a dog who plays frisbee, no, a professional frisbee athlete is a catcher. Oh, and Burner's getting after Chia. He's getting after her. Maybe he's taken up for Darla. That's awfully sad. Um, you know, I think they should have a break. I think we're gonna let them drink some more cocoa. Let's get some more cocoa. 
actually, let's give them, let's let them rest. Let's give them the opportunity to relax. Uh oh, uh, what's going on? What, oh, what? Someone is in love. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Is Osterine and Conifer? We don't know. We, d we don't want any accidents. I heard some, I heard some romantic noises. I don't, we don't need any. Whoa, is that, was, oh, is it darling Osterine? I think, who, oh man, I've got to be careful now. I don't want, I don't want any accidents. Someone just, a couple just fell in love though. It might be, I don't even know who it is. I think it might be Conifer and Osterine. I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm going to be responsible. I'm going to try, I hope nothing happens. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's put that out of the basket and, uh, just and more hot chocolate. I hope nothing, make sure nothing happens. All right, they're, they're sipping, they're sipping their cocoa. Let's refill their cocoa, have a good hot cocoa break. Are they f they're, they're like, um, they're competing over the cocoa. We need a whole room dedicated to hot cocoa. Okay, so Darla is the only one who isn't fixed. She's the only one I have to worry about. Well, I mean, they're full of energy. They could bear—they could barely contain themselves to drink some cocoa. Let's see how long? I don't even know how long. I've okay. Well, um, uh, okay. She just she just showed her uh, her team spirit. That that little play bow when they open their mouth. I love it when they do that. It shows me that they're serious. It's like the athletic spirit face. Let's bring out Flax one more time and let's just have, um, actually, ooh, just Conifer just caught a frisbee. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Austrian and Flax need to go head to head. I'm thinking they need to go head to head. We need to see who can catch the most frisbees. Cause I think they are the, um, I think they're the most serious frisbee catching dogs I've ever seen. We might just have to do that. Might be a little, um, might feel different, but we're going to see, we're going to put them head to head and we're going to see which one is the pro. Which one can, uh, which one can manage to catch the most frisbees? I might be, I might be putting, um, a lot of pressure on you two, but I want you to remember that this is, this is for fun. And uh, professionality second, so don't don't hold anything against each other. Whoever is the winner, you, you two, all is fair in in uh, pet sports. So just you just stay friends. Don't let this d d decide anything. Ooh, Osri managed to catch it. She caught it before Flax did. Oh, she missed it. She tried. <laughs> Flax is going to have a try at it. Oh, and Flax almost got it. <laughs> oh, and Flax. Flax is trying. He hasn't been able to catch it. Which one will reign superior? Oh, and Flax caught the frisbee. I think Flax might have met his match. I mean, they both have a love for frisbee catching, and I think that's just wonderful. Oh, Flax, don't don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Let the frisbee bring you two together. Not don't don't let it drive you two apart. And Austrian caught the frisbee again. <laughs> Did 
She's like, I'm too fast for you. She just danced around him. Oh, he just, he just caught, he just caught it again. The, these two. These two are so competitive. It's, it's amazing. We're going to have this group come out one more time. Maybe play a little more frisbee before we say goodbye. I'm going to have to do more play dates. I always, always get a kick out of this. I do it only like once a year, but I'm going to have to start doing these more often because they're a bunch of fun. Um, there are lots of mixed fe feelings, um, some friendliness, some rivalry, but, I mean, for the most part, some good vibes. And Austrian and Chia, they're still, they're, they're having a little kerfuffle, but nothing too serious. Well, Conifer caught the frisbee again. Conifer's really improved, and it's great to see that. Well, this calls this this calls for the uh, the frisbee queen to be crowned. I'll give Austrian her uh, fr frisbee queen crown. And as for Flax, Flax has the PF wizard, the fictitious P, the, well, I mean, not the fictitious, the legendary PF wizard hat on because he's a, fri he's a frisbee legend. And these two are, um, yeah. Austrian is the frisbee queen and it has a, he has a ring to it. Also, I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of the dogs' names or any of the owners' names. I, I try, I try to be as uh, grammatically correct as possible and uh, correct with my uh, pronunciation of things. And uh, oh, I wish I wish they would loosen up. Uh, just drink, just drink more cocoa, please. Just drink some cocoa. We just chill. Yeah, Flax is going to have to have a timeout. He's being a bad sport. But Osirene is the she's the frisbee queen. Oh, look at that pose. She she's she's owning it. She's a princess. And all of the other dogs are really good players as well. I've, uh, I've really enjoyed this. I'm gonna have to host more play dates. And I appreciate everybody who sent in their dogs. I think this has been a lot of fun. And I look forward to the next one. Thank you, thank you everybody for watching.